Hi, this is Saev Morton with the daily update on Eurofix. I post my exclusive market overviews with the key political and economical events, charts and important levels on the forexpsami.com forums weekly. This short video is a response to rapidly changing situation on the currency markets and should help you to stand top of the game and be profitable. I suggest you to visit forexpsami.com forum and read my analysis for the week before watching this daily video. Welcome everybody to the video research on the forex market from the forexpsami.com. As usual we will discuss the price behavior of the euro currency, start from the daily time frame, today the 1st of the February, and uh, take a look at that picture. This is the daily chart of the euro currency. Yesterday we have discussed this pattern. This in fact was the perfect duck cloud cover pattern and we said that since this is really strong area of resistance, the daily confluence resistance we discussed yesterday so that is that could be the great context for the potential sell trade on the intraday charts until this high of this pattern will be intact so that has happened market has mm, did some attempt to reach this top but later returns right back and move precisely in our area that we have discussed yesterday as the target of this potential move as we will see on the intraday charts. But let's take a look first on the daily time frame. What do we have? First of all, this is the first pullback after the solid long term bear trend on the daily market, daily time frame. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 bars to the upside. That's minimum requirement number of bars by the Judd Napoli uh, framework um, dedicated to the directional patterns. This green line is the Three periods, simple moving average shifted forward for the three periods, displaced forward for the three periods. This also calls as displaced moving average. You can see this is nice separation from this line. No penetrations, no closes below this line, except that one. Okay, so that is nice context for the directional pattern. And I suspect that this probably will be the uh, bread and butter buy. The idea of the bread and butter is the in the momentum that market has during the solid thrusts. So market when shows some solid thrust to the upside due to the momentum when the first retracement comes, new traders who stepped in with the intention to buy push market to the upside at least to the 618 level of the whole counter trade move. By this momentum, market show deep retracement. That could be an idea for the uh, ending of the current trading week, maybe in the beginning of the next week. Also, if you take a look at this pattern in the larger time frame, on the weekly time frame, this pullback now is the context for the bread and butter sell on the weekly time frame. It's a bit sounding a bit confusing, but if you have read our weekly analysis, you will understand what I'm talking about. Well, now let's take a look what we have. Just below the market stands solid area of support. First of all. That is 13004, the fifth, uh, first uh, fifth support, three eight, fifth support from that low to that high. Also, you can see the new monthly pivot point for the February 12983, and just few pips low of this line dash line is the weekly pivot support one. So that is rather solid area of support, and I think that if market will start pullback, it probably will start from that area. So our area is 129.80, 1.30. To watch for is the potential target of that move to the downside. Also, you can see that market now close below the weekly pivot point. So we, we could say that um, short-term market sentiment is on the bearish side. That is what I particularly will be uh, watching for in the nearest trading sessions. Well, on the four-hour time frame, we also have specified in our weekly research that to be to get some confidence that market probably will show some deep retracement to the downside, we need a couple of things. First of all, we need some reversal pattern on the uh, four-hour time frame, maybe on the daily time frame. Second, we need to break out of this parallel channel pattern, this lower border of this pattern. Both of these uh, moments have happened yesterday. Well, although we hardly could call this like a head and shoulders pattern, but this solid lack of harmony since you can see that shoulders not quite the same well but this is you can say look like of the head and shoulders some reversal patterns okay also we have this solid breakout of this parallel channel so we have accomplished two major conditions that we have specified as the potential uh, 
potential uh, conditions for the move to the downside. Well, also you can see that market has closed below the weekly pivot point. Now, uh, based on this pattern, we could say that suggest that probably market will proceed lower because take a look at this A, B, C top market accelerates right from the 618 target to the 100% as we said yesterday the target of our move 130.40, 130.50 area because this is for our confidence support and agreement and we say that this will be the minimum target of this potential move but based on this price action take a look at this huge nasty down black candle to the downside well usually when this has happened market very often proceed lower to the 1618 extension after some retracement to the upside the 1618 extension stands right here, 129.59, almost in agreement with our area of support that we have specified on the daily time frame. Well, and um, this even increase the solid the force of this uh, support area. So that is the destination of the potential move to the downside, the first destination. Well, currently I suppose that. Uh, market probably will show some retracements since this is really a solid area in the nearest hours market will show some pullback to the upside because this is agreement daily confidence support to estimate the target of this potential upside move we need the hourly chart also we know that for our time frame is bearish and it suggests that market will proceed lower on the hourly time frame we we'll see you could here you could even better could see the steep of these legs. Look at this AB leg. It's much flatter than CD. CD is just uh, falling like a stone leg. It's really collapse on the market. Well, what kind of retracement it could be? Probably it could be the godless triple two sell. Look at this A, B, C bottom. One hundred percent from this small A B C D whole stands right here. One thirty one or seven in agreement with the three at resistance of that swing to the downside. It's 131.09 and the same area of the weekly pivot point. Also you can see this previous lows around that area also. So market could protest that level. In general, th at least theoretic theoretically we could say that even if market will show deep retracement to the 618 resistance of that swing, that will be not crucial for the potential continuation to the downside. Well, it will be not quite common after solid plunges on the market, but this will be in theory acceptable because market could show 618 ret retracement and later continue move to the 1618 extension but taking into consideration that the 4 hour time frame is bearish this is, was really solid move to the downside very strong move uh, also taking that this is previous some level of resistance stance in that area and agreement with this potential ABCD move I suppose that uh, more probable that market will uh, reach just that area 131.10 approximately. Well, the major um, condition of the potential failure of the downward continuation could be if a market will return back above that lower border of this parallel, parallel channel of market will return right back, take out both of these resistance areas and continue to the upside when in this case we could say that probably the move to the downside will not happen. But if you will want to enter on the long side of the market you should wait at least a couple of moments first of all you need the four hour time frame will turn to the bullish side second you need the return back above this parallel channel until that will happen i suppose the bearish environment bearish bias will hold on the market in the short term perspective and the target of this potential move is specified as 129.60 area 130 that will be the first area to watch for the potential target before solid pullback could happen so the second idea that I also just want to share with you, this could be, for instance, better fly buy pattern. You can see that from that low to that high, 1618 extension stands very close to the 130.04 level. So this could be potential better fly buy. But this this level stands a bit higher than I suppose market could reach. So I think that market should just pierce this level a bit. As, as the solid area of support and the target on the 4 hour time frame 1618 stands, stands low so well I do not have the great confidence and the hope of this better fly but still this could happen currently this hasn't failed yet so if market will take out this high yes we could say that probably this will be great, um, 
there's more probability that will be uh, ABCD patron and uh, regardless triple to sell. So that's current our current look at the market. Well, probably uh, we could say that uh, short-term bearish buy still holds and stands intact. Well, and and the nearest hours we expect some retracement, but this odds suggest that it should not be too deep inside of this previous solid swing down. The more probable that market will uh, finish this retracement around 130-110, and then um, we expect that market should accelerate further to the downside to the 129-60-130 area. So that's our current look. Keep an eye on the significant levels and this possible uh, scenario on the market. Trade according to your trading plan and control your risk.